guys, what is up? Moldy Balls here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a debatable video. It's what you want, what you need, and uh, what you like the best. Now, the best tank for the British... Now, the best tank, at least by BR status for the British Ground Forces, is the Challenger. Now, as you can see, they've updated the name of the Challenger. It's now the Challenger Mark II. And not only that, but they have said to have fixed the buggy turret that uh, what, what the Challenger is. Uh, this turret gets penetrated by rounds that it shouldn't from angles where it would completely defeat, completely ricochet. So they have apparently fixed that. However, just from my bad experience with the Challenger, I just mentally don't feel confident in it like I do with the Chieftain Mark 10. Now, the perks of the Challenger 2 is that you have a better round, you have five more millimeters of penetration, you have better top speed, and you have, I guess, air quotes, a better overall turret. The overall protection of the turret is better. However, with the Chieftain, you have lower top speed, you have a worse round only by 10 millimeters, but you have point or 9.3 battle rating. So you do and will get sucked into some lower games, which at that point you will be a force to be reckoned with. This is what I like about the Chieftain Mark 10. So let's go to armor or the protection analysis and we'll use the strongest APFSDS round in the game, which is the Type 90 JM33. So as we move our cursor across the armor, as you can see, it will penetrate some areas of this tank. But as you can see, some areas it can't, in some areas it will ricochet, in some areas it, 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 there's so much armor like up here, 700 millimeters of armor. But as we go closer to the turret, yes, it is penetrable as you can see, just like on the Challenger, and we'll get, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. But as you can see, if they fire above me, they're not gonna be able to penetrate. And if they fire to the right of the cheek, they're not gonna be able to penetrate. Look at this armor this thing has. It's insane. So this side, yes, it, it can be, I think I'm lagging right now, I'm sorry guys if it's, sorry about that fellas, had to do a quick restart. We were over here on the turret looking at uh, the still bruise ridiculous properties if they don't shoot right. If they shoot anywhere around here, it's pretty much a no pen unless you dip down into the flatter portion of the armor near the mantlet and gun breach. But if you shoot up here, it is a very small silhouette to hit at far range. But if they shoot over here, there is a much bigger chance of a pen. But... There's that ability where rounds will just ricochet, rounds will just not be able to penetrate the armor because the armor is too thick. Now, if we go over to the chief, excuse me, the challenger, and it's the same view, I haven't changed anything, I just clicked the tank, and as you can see up here, to me, that would mean that it can't penetrate, but in War Thunder, it's equal. So penetration is still low. So right here, they can at least in the game, still penetrate you. This whole turret area is completely weak. They will just cannon breach you for days. And as you move on, it carries that 500 millimeters of effectiveness. But as we go down to the lower portion of the turret armor, penetration is definitely possible. So not only do you have this area to worry about, you have this area, and then you have this area over here that is definitely penetrable. Now up here, it's still up to chance, but it to me, it seems like there's a bigger silhouette to penetrate on the Challenger Mark II than on the Chieftain Mark X Still Brew package. So in the comments below, feel free to leave uh, your opinion on the tank you like to use the most. I know the Chieftain Mark X doesn't have the best speed, it doesn't have the best round compared to the Challenger, but with that lower BR and me being more confident with the turret armor uh, makes this tank much more enjoyable for me to play and hopefully this will reflect in today's gameplay. Oh my gosh, that was sweet. Stopping the fire. Whoa, that looked off. One more shot, we're moving again. Interesting. Captured 
Oh, Jesus! How does that ricochet? Oh my, well, it is a pretty damn far shot. I'm gonna say the game couldn't cope with that amount of accuracy right there. Jeez, look at these guys, man. T-64 Bravo, 2,000 meters away. On the, a little bit higher, on the way. Overshot. Undershot. Yeah, really too far to engage properly. We're gonna hold ammunition. We're definitely gonna have a push out of uh, Alpha soon. We got 15 rounds. That's enough to get about five kills if we're extremely accurate. Oh man. I mean, it's just too tasty over here though, you know? this range fine because he's stationary 2000 what okay oh that's a good shot oh man that was sweet okay two shot kill right there leopard 2a4 destroyed Guys, I love playing the Chieftain. It is so darn enjoyable. We got a tank over here on fire. We're going to hold shot on that just in case someone wants to get a nice kill. No one follows it up, though. I'm going to engage him. Looks like a Leo. Firing. Got him. Okay, now there was another... Oh, let's use our binos to spot real quick. We got to watch for the A push out. Let's go and take a look to the left a little bit, just in case. Yep, we got a mover. This this could be our end here, but let's try to get a shot on this guy. ATGM incoming. I'll take it. Just short. Dare you to fire at me. Come on. Come on. Higher on the shot. Okay. We, we, we made up for that extremely bad shooting on the T-64 with that uh, quick aim on the big light panzer. You know what would be really dope, War Thunder? If you take out parts in... Oh. Hi, Bubba. Hi, sweet thing. Um, as, as I was saying, I would be for them taking out uh, parts and FPE, right? And then uh, they would put on lens modification and then frame modification. So, in essence, as you play more and more, you'll be able... Look at this! You'll be able to research. Sorry, buddy, my bad. Sunglasses. Sun goggles. It. Give me a here, here if you guys uh, agree in the uh, comment section below. Oh God, here we go. Can that can that go through next time a little bit better? Oh, oh, we got a, um, we got a, ooh, ooh, I like it, I like it. We got a, uh, two Leos over here, I think. We are able to deflect two rounds right there. Artie's, oh, hang on, let's, let, let's, let's get the F repair going on. And Artie in the middle. Oh, God, they're, they're, they're doing it, man. That's what speed does. Speed gets you to those nice early game positions. Now, the bad thing is we have no one on the beach. 
And what that means is that, uh, someone can easily flank. Oh, Piper. Hang on. I gotta go let my cat out of the room. Family first. Watch me die here. Oh, you stick it here. Oh, look at that. I killed a balloon. Oh, damn it. There goes the enemy tank, though. Okay, let's go poke out again. Um, the game is pretty much over, already over, guys. So I, 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 I hope you have enjoyed it. I don't even know where these guys are at. Those square little Leopard 2A4 turrets. Can you seize me? Load it! Oh! <laughs> Guys, we're uh, we we got to go away right now. Okay, or we'll just move into the center of the town. Hopefully no one will shoot me from the right side. All we have is one surviving T-64 Bravo up here. Now, he shouldn't come back the way I sh was at, right? Whoa. Fuck me sideways? Okay, we're not going to survive much longer. We have to have a flanker from the rear soon. Oh, never mind. Here he is. Oh, hang on. Our gun's still up. Leopard 2, 2K. Slow ass reload. Oh, uh, nope. There we go. 8.7 seconds, I thought it was. Ah, uh, time went by so fast. I bet this is a responder. He's like, hey, you can't kill me in that thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he thinks my gun's out. Okay, someone might be focusing him. Okay. Th this is still a thing. Um... Oh. Oh, I'm very confused right now. I want to leave this area. So the Leopard 2K hasn't died yet. I think I hear something behind me. Ah. Oh. Can I at least go out on a bigger note than that? Okay, we got one more in front, or multiple in front right now, but only one identified. Leopard 2. You didn't know where that came from? Try to stop his driver, just get his ammunition, but a uh, miss shot right there. Now, the good thing is that those two tanks got no kills and no caps. So those guys are going to be spawning in lesser vehicles. T-64 Alpha. wonder if I can... Mm, it's going to be risky. This is what's happening right now. I can completely expose my left side to get some good shooting spots on guys on the right side. Or I can sit here. God, that's a crafty spot. 
Or I can sit here all game, maybe get another one or two kills. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Like even an anti-air, a Gepard could spawn and kill me at this angle that I'm presenting to the left side. No shooting yet until we get into position. Oh god, that's that. Guys, I'm sorry, that's just way too meaty. Our victory is near. Attention to the designated grid zone. One and done, nice and clean. Didn't even move. Oh my Jesus. No planes, no planes, no planes, no planes. I think that was a friendly aircraft or something along the lines of that. Okay, good. We're in a we're in a very good position right now. Let's go ahead and check if anyone wants to poke across the left hill over here. Now these guys have the right side of the map pretty locked down. What we're gonna do is look to the left. And speaking about left, Jesus, someone just captured Charlie is, is capturing Charlie right now. We got extremely lucky that he didn't look over here, or we moved at the perfect time. There he is right there. Look at this Abrams. <laughs> see, let's, let's, let's see if we can save him here. It's an IT-1. It's a fucking IT-1. Little update, the Abrams were able to deal with the uh, IT-1 or the Rocketon. Yeah, I don't know which one it really was. Uh, there's a call out over here that there was one more feller. Attention to the map. Yeah, there it is again. Gosh, nothing like the accuracy of this 120 millimeter allows you to hit some really insane far range shot. And on Normandy, you can see the turret coming into play to keep us alive as much as possible. What is that? Okay, nothing. But I mean, you should play this like every single tank. You don't want to, you don't want to get shot at with this thing, or shot at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Jesus! What the hell is that? I can't even see this guy. T-62 destroyed. I I couldn't even see that guy even zoomed in. Fellas and ladies, those 2% of you out there, I'm pretty sure all that 2% are just dudes. Anywho, hope you guys have enjoyed this video today with the Chief the Mark 10. Absolute joy to play if you play it the way it's meant to. Relaxed and at long range with this accurate 120 millimeter. Guys, until next time, have a great day. Peace out.